we have become over the five, 500 years. And this topic will be discussed by Lupexius. You see, I've got a lot of brown pride. It is down in my soul. I got a mean machine, my derby friend, and my shiny friends told me. When you're so in Chicago, I got a story to told. Open up your heart, your eyes, and then your ears, but here it goes. You see, my ladies, they're Mexicanas and Chicanas from the same background as me. And we've been oppressed and depressed because of our identity. But life can carry on, oh yeah, hey, that's for sure. And I think I'll hang around a while and I'll watch us open up their doors. Yo soy mexicano, I got a story in tow. Open up your heart, your eyes, and your ears, and here it goes. One day we'll be united, just like we were in the past. We had a revolution, we got it together, and we sent the Frenchmen back. It was the Cinco de Mayo, it was a long, long time ago. But we still celebrate the victory with La Raza, that's for sure. Yo soy mexicano, I got a story in tow. Open up your heart, your eyes, and your ears, and here it goes. You see, on my way over here from Stockton, Tomas gave me this book. And as I read the book, I was going to take you guys through a history of who we are, where we come from. It's getting mad. You know, because of the things that I was reading in this book, I said, you know what? I don't want to go over there and make everybody sad. You know, I don't want to go down there and tell you get this, you know, and that. But one thing it said something about the mestizo in here, children of the Indian woman. And the Spaniard later also mixed African slaves brought to, Sp to Spain and Mestizo. La Raza so called us the cosmic people because we mixed all the so called races of this planet white, yellow, red, black to make a new people called brown. A people born from an act of destruction, a people born from an act of rape, a new people of America born. You see, when my abuelita came here, we were all raza. Today, there's African, Mexican, American in my family. There's Filipino, Mexican, American in my family. There's white, Mexican, American in my family. There's German, Mexican, American in my family. There's Indio and Espanol in my family. So who am I to hate one of God's children if we're all children of God? See, this book told me a lot right here. This book told me that some of the Chicanas and Mexicanas of our past became colonels. This book told me of a, a Rockefeller who had a company in Colorado who had the Raza and they're working and living in tents. And when the Raza strike, this book told me that one day the men got together and they just opened fire on the tents and burned them. And they killed children and they killed Mexicanas and they killed Mexicanos. This book told me. This book told me that in Santa Cruz, California, this century, they hung three Mexicanos because they raped a white woman. They didn't have no court. See, this book got me mad as I read it. And I looked and I looked and I and all I see, you know what, I can't do nothing about it yesterday. See, this book, I just throw it down. Because I can't do nothing about it yesterday. I don't have a genie left to turn yesterday back and make something different. See, that conflict's been going on throughout the history. I was born in Delano in 1949. I pitched water mounds at 25 cents an hour. I mean, 25 cents a ton, 125 tons a day at the age of 12. I worked in the fields all my life. I've seen planes come over and spray us with pesticides. The longest journey in this world, I'd like to tell you, Chicanas and Chicanos and Mexicanos and Mexicanas. Just look, from right here, from right here to here is the longest journey in the world. From your mind to your heart. Mi abuelita used to say, Pase pendejo, no se estudia. E on. That's easy. There's a disease called webontitis. If you got webontitis, it means you gotta get up and now you have to do something. We're going to tie it I'm going to sing you some songs. I'm going to take you through a little bit of, 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 of what I do. You know, I, I like to call my stuff Chicano folk music. But there's another disease going on 
and that what kills our people. It's called gang violence. So this is dedicated to my, my cousin, Joey Talavantes, who died from gang violence, to a Cambodian body warfare movement out of LA. It's called Whatever Happened to the Days When We Were Thus Up.